I'm going to show you some of the basic tips you need from shopping for wine at a grocery store. So here's our first tip. If there's someone in the store who actually knows the wine in the store, go find them and talk to them. So Scott is the mind behind this whole selection. When you talk to someone in a store who knows the wine selection, you have to tell them what you want to spend. As politely as we can, we try and help them figure out a, an actual budget, and I shoot to come underneath that number. So sometimes in a store, you'll see a sign like this that says, Into Bin Discounts. And there are occasionally some really killer deals in here. Sinister Hand, definitely a weird name. Really cool um, Grenache from Washington State. And in this case, you know, it's it was $26.99. It's on sale for $13.50. That is a steal. You can only get one bottle, because that's this is the last one. But I'm going to buy it, so goodbye. There's a room full of super high-end wines over here. I'm going to take you there next. Man, I need a jacket. I think it's about 58 degrees in here, and it's cold. It's cold for humans. It's great for wine. If you're buying older wine, key, key thing to know is how it's been stored. Stored in a room that's 85 degrees, that's a dead bottle of wine. Stored at 58 degrees for 10 years, totally fine. You know, it's fun to look around at this stuff. It's pretty cool. If you want to find values in red wine, one thing to think about is where they're from. Often regions like Spain have incredible values, especially from the sort of less famous parts of the country. Cabernet from Napa, you're paying an upcharge for the name and the price. Next tip, ask if there's a case discount. A lot of stores will give you 10 or 15% off on a whole case of wine, which is 12 bottles. If you're buying for a party, this is a great way to save some money. I'm gonna buy a case of wine for a party. I'm gonna keep the bottles under 20 bucks about because I'm a journalist and not filthy rich. One thing about packing a case, if the space is too small, you can always do alternating up and down. Okay, done. Case of wine and a 10% discount, not a bad thing. I've given you a ton of tips about how to buy wine in a grocery store, how to buy wine in a wine store. There's only one thing left for you guys to do. Go out, buy wine. See ya.